All right, so I'm going to just apologize uh, now in case you guys hear purring throughout this uh, review. Uh, my, my cat keeps jumping onto my lap, and uh, she's not feeling well, so I'm not going to, I don't feel like throwing her off. I think that's kind of mean. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, this is my review for 21 and over, and I also apologize if I call it uh, 21 and up because I've been doing that all week. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, 21 and over. Um, I know it's written from the guy who wrote The Hangover. And, uh, you know, I, I thought I'd seen this movie last year, and it was called Project X. But that's that was the vibe I got before I went and seen it. And um, I, I wasn't expecting a whole too much out of the movie. It's really rotten. Uh, I hated Project X from the same, you know, writers, I think. Yeah, it's from the same writers. And... It just has that similar vibe. I really never get into movies about, you know, 20 year olds, like people my age just getting drunk and that's it. Um, and that's totally what I thought this movie was, is it was just a big frat party. And I mean, that's basically what it is at its core. But um, there is something about this movie that it has a little bit of charm to it. Uh, it's, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's a very good movie. But I don't think it's a god awful movie. I think I thought Project X last year was terrible. It made my top ten worst movies of the year, and um, I just, you know, I just don't like that movie. It, it was simply about people getting drunk. And this movie, it actually does try, and uh, it does try and have a storyline. And granted, it's not a very good storyline. But the thing is that I did like about it was it did try it and have a little bit of heart. Um, like I said, it's it it's not very good, but it, it, it tries, and I, I respect that. I respect that the movie, at least, you know, it, it tried to write a storyline, even though it wasn't very good. Um, but yeah, I, I, enjoy, I, enjoy, I enjoyed it for what it was. I, you're going to see at the end, it's not a positive movie for me, but it's a movie I, I might watch again, or I might buy if it's cheap enough. Uh, I do like Miles Teller. And I like uh, Siler Astin, who is Dane Cook Jr. Um, I, I don't think they're necessarily very, you know, they don't get to show anything in here. But they're not bad actors. They're, they actually, These guys are pretty, I liked uh, Siler in uh, Pitch Perfect. I think that's the movie where I go, you know, this is what he can do good at. He can make comedies and you know, they can be funny, and he can be likable, and he's likable in this, uh, but he's, he doesn't have much to work with because the script's not very good. Um, but yeah, I like him, and I like Miles Teller, who I'm expecting a lot out of because he has a huge career coming up for him. Uh, he's in The Spectacular now, which I'm highly anticipating, and he's in this movie called Get a Job that I'm also very highly anticipating. Um, and, uh, yeah, those two guys, they have, you know, bright futures ahead of them if they play their cards right. And uh, and I think that, you know, this movie is something that they, they might regret, but it's not it's not a total eyesore. Like, I, uh, Miles Teller was in 21 and 0, or he was in Project X. That's something I would be embarrassed of when I get a little bit older. But this movie is just something like, you know, we needed work. We're young actors, and we're not that bad in it. I think that's how I look at it. Um, but, yeah, I overly wasn't... I didn't hate this movie. I actually... There was a little bit of charm behind it, and I did kind of like it for what it was. It wasn't a very good movie, but uh, it had, you know, some something about it. I think it was just... The, the, the main girl in the movie was really cute. Um, she's not a very good actress, but she is very, very, very pretty and has a great smile, and uh, she was in... Uh, she's been on an episode of How I Met Your Mother before, and she's, you know, she's just, what you've seen her before, um, and she's really pretty, and I don't know, I just, I didn't hate this movie. Uh, I'm going to give it a five and a half. It's close to a six. It's as close to as positive movie as I can give it. Uh, I, I thought it was enjoyable. I'd buy it if it was a couple dollars, and uh, look at this cat. It's just the cutest cat. Um just the cutest cat, uh, but yeah, uh, check out the movie if you want, I don't know, I don't think a lot of people will feel like me, it, again, it's not a good movie, but I think it's a movie that's not entirely terrible, it's not what I was expecting, I thought it was going to be like Project X Part 2, and it, 
while it is similar, this movie does have a little bit of a storyline and a little bit of heart. Uh, and two li- two actors that I think are going to be going places in comedy. Uh, so yeah, check it out if you guys want. Uh, take it, take my advice that it's not very good. So you know, don't expect too much going into it. Um, but yeah, uh, Project X. I'm going to give it a five and a half out of ten. Thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment and tell me what you guys thought of it. And uh, if you reviewed it, feel free to link yours to mine and I'll uh, watch your video or just send me you know, a link or whatever. Uh, Thanks again, guys.